Adam, what's up everyone? Welcome to Trading Crypto. Day three of doing Time Wonderland. Man, this thing is shitting the bed. Uh, down 31.6% of the day. I actually saw a comment in one of my videos today saying that Time Wonderland, uh, they moved on to a different coin for a use case. I think it was like W Memo or something, Wrapped Wonderland or Wrapped Memo. I might do a uh, video on that. Uh, comment below if this is uh, actually true or if it's just someone commenting on my video trying to stir up some gossip. But man, down 31.6% of the day. Um, yeah, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on one. Starting crypto, holy crap, what happened to Wonderland? Look at this chart. This is bad. Um, charting it for couple days now i actually thought this was our bounce and we were actually starting to move up and then after that I'm, i was done saying we're done bottoming um so you know the definition of a rug pull is a heavy drop someone pulling the rug i'm not calling this a rug pull but that is a huge red can right there i mean there's a lot of buying pressure bounced right back up so you have some sort of support right here but Wonderland isn't looking that good. I actually had someone comment that Wonderland has moved on to a different utility token or something like that. I don't know if it's true. I, I don't really look into a lot of the coins that I don't invest in um, that I chart in. They said they're moving on the W Memo or something like that. Comment below if, if you've heard something about, like that or if it's true or not. Um, they're saying like um, this couldn't be listed on exchanges and stuff, but the coin that they're switching to actually could have some utility. I don't know the truth behind that or anything, but you Wonderland holders definitely do. So please let me know because I would love to learn that and love to chart the other coin if there is one. Um, so we actually fell through the through the one six eight. Didn't really take the two, but we wicked or we green candled back up to the one six eight. Uh, we wicked above it, but instantly got rejected. Now you see there's a red candle going. Uh, we'll start with the worst case scenario as you drop down to the two two six one eight at $620. I mean, this is a steep drop right here. You guys had a lot of buying pressure right here that pushed it back up, but it instantly got rejected at the 618. You can see you fell below the 786 and you're trying to work your way back up right here, but got rejected at the one and then instantly had this red candle. So right now we're in 50-50 zone. We're at the 618, but from what it looks like, judging by the charts, we could have another big sell-off. People are starting to panic. People are losing money that bought in up here and they're just trying to get out for profit. So you could see another big dip come um, on the bright, not bright side, but on the opposite side, on the optimistic side, you could say like this coin's low. People are coming in and starting to buy it now. Um, in which case, if we break above the 61618, our next stop would be the 786 up here and at um, 1800. And if we broke above that, it would then be bullish again. You can see this downtrend. Is still in play. Uh, we have to work. The bad part is we actually have to work our way back up to this downtrend. It's so bad right now. But you have this candle right here. So if we work our way back up to the 786, I think it would be like a gradual build up like this. In which case we can test this downtrend again, which most likely will happen at the 786. If we break above that, we'll start getting some bullish momentum. So uh, on the optimistic side, if we head up that way, if you break above the 1618, there's actually a pretty big jump until you hit the next um, resistance, which is the 786. So you guys kind of want to focus on getting over 12, what is it, 1270? 1270, I'm not saying it's going to be a straight candle up, but it'll, it would most likely be a, um, a bouncy candle up. But you guys are red candling, and since the video started, this red candle is getting a little bit bigger. So um, worst case scenario is down to the 618. And absolute worst case, I can't even zoom out that far. Uh, we'll have to assess the situation when that happens, but this coin is not bullish right now, in my opinion. I know there's a lot of holders out there, there's a lot of people commenting, but if there is another coin that Wonderland or the creators coming out with, like W Memo or something like that, um, that actually has some utility that could be listed on exchanges, people could be dumping their liquidity to move to that coin, in which case that could be why Time Wonderland is dumping so hard. I have not done my research. I have not looked into it. It's just a comment and some and some um, feedback that I was told on um, my channel. So if this is true or not, I'd like to know from you guys. So make sure you comment below um, on um, what you guys heard because uh, this is nasty. This is not good. Uh, for you Wonderland holders, stay strong. I mean, it's got to bottom out sometime, right? You can't go to absolute zero. <laughs> um, so 
what do they say? Buy the dip? No, nah, I wouldn't be buying this dip. I mean, that's nasty. Also, just keep an eye on the 2818. 2818. I think that might be the next stop. We're red candling. And as we're talking in this video, the red candle's getting longer. Um, if we, if it turns in the green candle, we bounce, we head back up. Our next is the 1618 at 1275, let's say. We really would need to get back up over the 786. If we break the 786, I, I, it converges right here at this downtrend. And if we break this downtrend in the 786 here, it starts becoming bullish again. And then people who bought in right here will be laughing at everyone freaking out selling. So, you know, crypto is really volatile. I mean, we could wake up tomorrow and it could be going like this. And then people down here be like, aha, I fucking bought while you guys were freaking out. You never know. You never know. Um, but in my opinion, this is not financial advice. We're heading down to this 2618 at 621. Um, hopefully not. Hopefully I'm wrong. I mean, I've been wrong on this coin before i mean the last the last video when i said i thought we bottomed here i was i was obviously wrong so it's very possible but this is just me reading the charts this is what i see what could possibly happen so keep an eye on the two six one eight the one six one eight you guys need to break over and then if you break over the seven eight six at eighteen hundred you're bullish again keep that in mind and as always this is not financial advice and if there's any coins you like me to chart please comment them below